Hi, I'm Rachel Smith with Quiltsmith.world. And this is using the Curve Master Presser Foot. I'm working on this beautiful quilt. This is one of the blocks. It has 160 Drunkard's Path units in it. So when I want to sew them, I line them up so that the larger curved wedge is on the top. And then I'm going to line up both pieces under the presser foot. And I'm just going to take a couple of stitches to lock the thread, and then I'll put the needle down. And then I pick up the top piece of fabric and I hold it straight up right in front of the needle. I can't really see the needle right now, but I'm just watching the guide where the pieces of fabric come together. So I'm not pulling, I'm just holding it straight up, and then I'm sewing very, very slowly and just making sure that those two pieces are aligned. I'm using my right hand just to keep the bottom piece, the edge of it, in the right place. And then I just sew along, not going very fast until I'm about a half an inch from the edge of the fabric and then I can't really hold it with my fingers anymore so I use these bent tip tweezers that I got with the presser foot and I'm going to line up the corners of the two pieces of fabric so that they're in um, they're in alignment and then I'm just going to grip them with the tweezers and hold them with the tweezers while I sew all the way to the edge there's a little notch in the foot that the tweezers fit into so the tweezers are nowhere near the needle and you can get that even seam right off the edge of the foot. And then when I take it out of the machine and snip the thread, I can just finger press it a little bit and I have this gorgeous, smooth, perfect curve. You can see it right there without using a single pin. And it just comes out so nice, just like that. And there it is, no pins at all. So here's the top of the piece and then when I flip it over that's the seam on the back and that's the Curve Master Presser Foot.